Hello everyone, myself Ruta Karmarkar. I am from Devdhar classes. In today's session, we are having with us Master Anvay Mahiskar. He is our NET topper and he has also secured admission in Government Medical College Dure. Anvay, congratulations Thank for you. your success. Uh, Anvay, this question might sound cliche to you, but uh, yeah. believe me, it is a most sought after question. Uh, tell me, what was your daily study routine like? Okay. Uh, my daily study routine was different for 11th and 12th standard. In okay. 11th standard, I used to self-study for 3 hours okay. initially, okay. which uh, later on I increased to 4 or 6 hours when okay. uh, more and more topics were covered in classes. Hmm. But the most important thing is that initially when you start studying in 11th standard, then you must remember that you have to always study the topics that are uh, uh, being taught in class. Hmm. Because uh, you are new in this uh, three subjects, physics, right. chemistry and biology, just when you come from 10th standard. Right. So you should always uh, uh, believe that teachers are your guide and you should follow them initially. Okay. Later on you can always approach in your way but initially when you are uh, not having much things to do hmm. then you can start with the topics that are being taught in the class and hmm. always uh, keep revising and start solving MCQs of those topics. Okay. In 12th standard I would say that if you are thorough with some of the previous topics hmm. then you can directly start with the MCQ solving and also uh, the new topics that are being taught can be studied simultaneously mm -hmm. but of course you have to increase your self-study time to minimum of 6 hours so that the total time of study uh, from classes as well as your self-study should be of total 11 or 12 hours in 12th standard because you also have to manage boards. Correct. Okay. Now let's get down to the individual subjects. Yeah. We will start with your favorite one. Bio yeah. Was that? I think it was biology. Oh, right? favorite term. Yes. So tell me how did you prepare for bio? Biology uh, was my favorite subject so uh, initially in 11th standard I uh, started reading different books okay. but later on I came to know that NCRT is the bible for this subject right. and uh, you first have to be thorough with this book or else you won't score well and uh, many people say that NCRT reading is just enough for NEET but no that's not the right thing to do mm -hmm. not just reading NCRT but uh, reading each and every line and understanding each and every concept in NCRT is very important mm -hmm. because every line has a question within it mm -hmm. and uh, in the paper many a times they ask the questions that are uh, very vague but uh, later on you come to know that it's from NCRT mm -hmm. but that was just somewhere hidden maybe in summary or in the author's preface. Okay. So you have to read each and every part of NCRT first for studying biology okay. and then you can advance to some other reference books but not to a greater extent because okay. if you are a student who is studying uh, CBSE boards in 12th standard mm -hmm. you have to continuously read these books mm -hmm. but if you are a student who is from state board mm -hmm. or uh, studying in other board than, NC, uh, than in the board from where these CBSE books are preferred. Then uh, already you have much to study, like biology for state board has much more extra content. Hmm. Then that can be your extra guide material for biology, hmm. rather than searching and surfing on internet and using different reference books. Hmm. Okay, now let's get down to the individual subjects. Yeah. We will start with your favorite one. Bio yeah. Was that, I think it was biology. Oh, right? My favorite term. Yes. So tell me, how did you prepare for bio? Biology... Uh, was my favorite subject so uh, initially in 11th standard I uh, started reading different books okay. but later on I came to know that NCRT is the bible for this subject right. and uh, you first have to be thorough with this book or else you won't score well and uh, many people say that NCRT reading is just enough for NEET but no that's not the right thing to do hmm. not just reading NCRT but uh, reading each and every line and understanding each and every concept in NCRT is very important mm -hmm. because every line has a question within it mm -hmm. and uh, in the paper many a times they ask the questions that are uh, very vague but uh, later on you come to know that it's from NCRT mm -hmm. but that was just somewhere hidden maybe in summary or in the author's preface. Okay. So you have to read each and every part of NCRT first for studying biology okay. and then you can advance to some other reference books but not to a greater extent because okay. if you are a student who is studying uh, CBSE boards in 12th standard, hmm. 
you have to continuously read these books mm. but if you are a student who is from state board mm. or uh, studying in other board then nca uh, then in the board from where these cbse books are preferred okay then uh, already you have much to study like biology for state board has much more extra content mm. then that can be your extra guide material for biology mm. rather than searching and surfing on internet and using different reference books mm. Okay, could you just elaborate uh, the same thing about other two subjects? Yeah, sure. Physics, uh, and chemistry. physics and chemistry, these two subjects. I was initially weak in these two subjects, okay. but I started improving them uh, from my 11th end. Okay. Basically, physics, I was afraid of physics initially in 11th standard okay. because I was not able to uh, apply the formula that were being taught in the sums mm -hmm. that were coming in my papers. Mm -hmm. But later on, I started to uh, revise different topics from different books. Like uh, for physics, if you are not able to mm. get uh, friendly with NCRT, mm. then you can always start theory conceptual understanding from uh, HC Verma. Okay. I used to prefer that book because it has very good conceptual understanding and okay. good theory. Okay. I won't recommend it for solving for neat aspirants because it is a bit higher level. Okay. But uh, for conceptual understanding and in-depth knowledge of a topic, you can always refer those books. Huh. And uh, later on, when you are getting thorough with each and every topic, you can increase a bit, uh, increase the level of solving questions for physics. But uh, initially, you can always prefer simpler books like MTG Champions, MTG Fingertips. Hmm. Or later on, when your level gets a bit higher, you can solve DC Pandey for NEET or Sengage. Hmm. But uh, going beyond that is not recommended for NEET aspirants in physics. Okay. The main thing to clear physics is being precisive and uh, also your calculations must be fast in physics because NEET paper is more time uh, dependent on time constant. Hmm. So you have to uh, solve questions at a faster rate rather than solving tougher questions. Correct. So that is the main thing to do physics uh, hmm. and in chemistry I would say that there are three subdivisions. So for physical chemistry, you can follow the same rules for physics mm. because it is uh, it demands everything that you do for physics because in physical chemistry, again, you have to be precise in your calculations. You have to avoid silly mistakes mm. Mm. there. And again, you don't have to solve too difficult questions because mm. then you can uh, hamper your confidence if you solve too uh, tough questions and you're not able to crack them. Mm. For inorganic chemistry, it is uh, following the same trend for the past two to three years like that of biology. Mm. Nothing from inorganic chemistry comes outside NCRT. Mm. So again, for this subject, NCRT becomes your Bible. You don't have to refer to big books like Ope Tendon, BK Jaiswal because they have a lot of extra content for NEET uh, aspirant. Mm. For organic chemistry, I would say you have to always keep practicing different types of reactions that are being taught. And you have to always be in touch with this subject because it is like say mathematics. Mm. In mathematics, if you are not in touch with the subject for one or two weeks, you forget the things that you are being taught. Mm. The same goes with organic chemistry. Mm. So for organic chemistry, I would uh, say that you can always first uh, start with NCRT. Uh, first uh, be thorough with the reactions that are given in the book. Mm. Then you can always refer to your class notes. And then you can uh, always go for a bit higher level in organic because sometimes they ask outside questions in organic chemistry. Mm -hmm. So you can refer uh, Opitendon for NEET, which is a good book. Okay.